slightly widen up your feet, bend your knees, and go to your center. Here, fighting stance. Step back, sink, go! Back up! <laughs> Being a woman is awesome. But sometimes life can be scary. So we're gonna learn to kick some ass. It's ladylike and we're taking a self-defense class. My mom has taught me to be very hyper aware. So even if you're like this tiny little baby Pomeranian coming towards me, I don't trust you. I'm not the type of person that really gets really afraid at night walking. I try to play it safe. I don't listen to music at night or at least I always walk along busy streets, but I definitely do still go out in the evenings because I'm a person living in the world I've lived in cities my whole life, so I definitely do have kind of a walking face, but I wouldn't say that I know how to defend myself. The thing I know about self-defense is that you want to hit someone in the nose or in the balls or in the eyes. Before I went to college, my dad made me take Krav Maga. I hated having to learn how to fight people, but I understood why he was making me take it. My name is Nelson. Uh, I started out. <clears throat> I started out this work about 12 years ago when a friend of my coworker was attacked in um, Costa Mesa. So after that incident, I did a lot of research on the internet, and when I found out that every two minutes a woman is sexually assaulted in this country alone, I started putting together self-defense training specific for women against sexual assault. So first thing you need to learn is your weapon. Okay. What are your natural weapons? When I come up to you like that, what do you use? Your hands. Your hands. <laughs> yeah. What else? Nails. Your nails. nails. Absolutely. Nails. Elbows. Elbows are very powerful. What else? Feet. Feet, yes. But before we use any of this, there's one weapon we always use first. Fucking so scream. Scream. <laughs> okay. Yell it out from your abdomen to your mouth to your opponent. It's an actual weapon you throw out. Back up! Ready? <laughs> one, two, go! Nice. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's get up. Extend your arm, two arms length. This is your safety zone. Outside of here, I have to step to grab her. You just slightly widen up your feet, bend your knees, close your center. So from here, any impact, any force you feel from forward, you just step back and sink. From here, boom, in. Now, if I rush in, I want you to lock me up. So from here, step back. Lock me up with your elbows first, so I can't come in anymore, okay? This is your shield. If I push really hard, slide it up to my neck. Oh, I can't push it up. As you pull, you hit, so it's all core. Go. Nice, okay? No thumb. No thumbs? Yeah. And grab like this? Oh, okay. Now hit. As you hit, pull me in. Yes. Like that? Whenever you have been grabbed like this, grab my wrist. Rip it down as hard as you can. See how she's using the bending forward and dropping her body weight down. Why don't you grab my hand? Why do you grab my wrist? So you can have yeah, more control. control. Yeah. More control and also if you grab the hand, you're scratching your own face. Protect your face. Yeah. When you're fighting on the ground, your main weapon are your legs. Yeah, one foot close to your butt and push. No. Plant this foot down, so you plant this foot down and lift up your hips. Yeah. Whenever you flip him sideways, always step all over him. Boom, boom, boom. Just step on him to maneuver your body. Boom. That's the first thing you do is bar my neck. Like this. And then pop up your hips. Exactly. See how high it is? If she still has my hand on her chest and she pop like that, that's gonna break. So all the techniques that we've learned today, um, it's all core driven. Okay? You, you never go out flail around like this. It's always with your core. Either your hair grabs, your grab from behind, you lock it in first to your core. You only do it once, it's very difficult for you to do it. But you at least you have some frame of reference on how to respond like that. Okay? Good? Yeah. 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 On that note. All right. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was crazy. It was a really great
great class. I felt like I learned a lot. It was great. There were a lot of parts of it where it was just like really freaky. I'm a little more shaken up than I thought I would be. I feel like I learned that there is a lot more to this than just dick punching. Self-defense is the thinking woman's dick punch. Like I said before, I don't usually walk around at night super scared or hyper aware. Being made aware today of all of the possible scenarios that could happen to me really just sort of like brought me back down to earth and realizing that like people are crazy and it's important to be ready for that. The beginning of the class felt pretty easy. I felt kind of like a waterbender and then as we got into the getting attacked from behind scenarios, fending off someone who's on top of you scenarios, I felt myself getting more and more anxious. It, even though we were laughing, it was it's it's really hard to really think about something like this happening. Even though it was a class and even though Nelson's like the nicest guy ever, I felt myself like building up this weird stress inside. The thing I really feel like I'm gonna take away from this is just the realization that like if someone attacks you, it's like how fucking dare you? Like how fucking dare you come at me? Like and then that's just like what'll carry you into like fighting back and hopefully getting out of there safely. I didn't anticipate myself being able to tap into that aggression and really go for it, but for some reason I was able to, so that was good. And it's good to know about myself that like, if I'm in that situation, I'll probably be able to go for it. It is a thing that women should be doing, learning to defend themselves. It's scary because you're not gonna know how you're gonna react until something like this happens. Like, God forbid if it ever happens. But I think every single woman should do this.